So hey ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for another Channel CG video. Today I was inspired to try to make a sort of a stabilizing rig, if you will, for my camera. I really, I like to be able to make the shots that I get and the videos I make as good a quality as I can on a very, very slim budget. If you've done any sort of photography, videography, anything before, you know that it's expensive. And I have like a minimal amount of money invested into my channel thus far, as far as camera equipment goes. So today I'm going to further that and try to make this little rig out of some simple PVC pipe. And that's about it. So anyways guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so here's all the stuff I'm going to be using today. For one thing, obviously a piece of PVC pipe. I believe this is half inch. And I'm not sure how long this piece is that I bought, maybe three feet or something like that. I also just got some elbows. I got like, I think four of them. And I got a couple of tees too. I'm not sure, you know, how many of these I'm going to be using in the end, but I just got a bunch. And I also got some bolts that I know will fit into the threads on the bottom of my camera. I got some that are an inch long and some that are an inch and a half. That's what we're going to be using today. And I'm going to try to make something. Then I'm going to start out by cutting two sections about nine inches long. Then I think I'm going to cut two more about a foot long. And then just go from there. All right guys, here's the finished product. I got the end sanded a little bit, just cleaned up a little because I'm OCD like that. Something else you use to cut, something like this, a hacksaw, but I use a scroll saw because I have one and overkill is underrated. So let me throw it together really quick and I'll show you what I was thinking. So here we go, literally just a square and then I'm thinking maybe this way, mount the camera, like somewhere right there, or this way. I'm not sure which would be better. Now something else I was also contemplating was putting that T like right about here, and then adding an extra piece of pipe in. The camera would mount like up higher. It'd be like right about here, and then you could hold on to it below. I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill through, put a bolt in here, to start out, see what kind of shots I can get. If I'm not happy with it, we'll do a T and try that. But to start out, let's just let's just go for it. I'm gonna drill through this pipe ahead of time and then put it back in there, put the bolt through and get it basically leveled. And then we'll actually glue everything together, put it together and test it out. All right, there we go. That worked actually pretty good. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves and glue everything together and do things like that, Let's throw the camera on there really quick and see what kind of shots we get. Alright guys, well as you can see, that actually worked pretty good. Mistakes were made, of course. Um, you can't really see it right now, but I didn't drill straight through, so it's slightly angled. So, I, you know, things like that. Now, I just had a brilliant idea, though. I have this head off a cheap Walmart tripod that I've had for a couple years that I don't use anymore. The way it works is this end here goes up into the bottom of this, and there's a small, like an Allen bolt that goes up into this. Now what I'm thinking is, bolt that on right here, and I'll drill this bottom hole just a little bit bigger so that I can fit an Allen key up through and tighten this down onto this end. And then we can mount this right on here, and that'll actually be pretty cool. So it should be as simple as finding a drill bit that's the same size as the actual head of this, and drilling out the bottom hole a little bit, and then just bolting this on there. Alright guys, and there we have it. I found a bit that was approximately the same size as that Allen key head. As you can see, I messed up pretty bad. The hole is not centered, but I was able to get it in there and get it tightened down as it is. And there we go. There's the new head, and that's going to work actually perfectly. Now, I'm sure the question everybody's asking at this point is, how much did it actually cost 
to build this little thing. I think I spent around 15 bucks on all the PVC and the bolts and things like that that I needed. Obviously that isn't the actual cost because I also stole head off of an old tripod of mine which probably cost like 20 bucks when it was new or less. But I've had it for a couple years. So I'm just going to go ahead and say this is a $20 stabilizing rig or whatever you want to call it. Obviously you don't need a head to a tripod. <laughs> to use it. You can easily rig up the bolts a little better and make it pretty awesome. So I'm super excited to put this to work on some random videos that I'll be putting together in the future. For 20 bucks, can't beat it. If it helps improve the video quality at all, it's totally worth it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little channel CG video. Be sure and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Comment down below if you have any questions or just anything you would like to say. Be sure to let me know if you like this style of video. I will do more stuff like this in the future. But again guys, thanks for watching. You rock. God bless, and I will see you in the next one.